With the polls now closed, Peña Nieto promised to work with whoever wins on this transition. CBS 4's Abre Preciado stopped by a polling location in Nuevo Progreso earlier to find out what drove people to the polls. Lines filled up polling locations throughout Mexico today, where many casted their ballots for the highly anticipated presidential election. A historic election where nearly 89 million are eligible to vote, and a large majority are making their voices heard by casting their ballots. Many like Matamoros resident Maria Guadalupe, who says she votes every election. However, this time around, she hopes her ballot will bring more security to her country. Which is why many describe this election as an opportunity for change. The current Mexican president Enrique Peña Nieto has been in office for six years and his administration has been criticized to have failed with dealing with the uprise of violence, crime and poverty in the country. Pero no, 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 no hizo nada por el pueblo. Ya por México no, no hizo. Todo fue para, como siempre. ¿eh? Four candidates are running for the presidency, one of them being Andrés Manuel López Obrador, who previously ran for the presidency and has gained popularity among Mexican voters. His populist and leftist politics have convinced many Mexicans he will bring change to the country. UTRGV professor Irving Livingston says the majority of Mexican voters are willing to leave their established political parties and affiliate with others if they see considerable readiness in other established party. What makes this difference is the massive disillusion that many Mexicans have with both of the opposing political parties. The PRI, the party in power now, is held responsible for the rising level of corruption and violence within the country. And the other party, the conservative PAN, is regarded as having failed when it held office for a period of 12 years. In Nuevo Progreso with Complete Valley coverage, Abril Preciado, CBS4 Valley Tonight.